Let us solve some problems together. Calculate the heat necessary. We want to calculate the amount of heat. So we want to calculate Q. To warm a 3.10 gram sample of copper, immediately we see the unit grams, we know that is the mass. From a temperature of negative 5.0 degrees Celsius to 37.0 degrees Celsius. If the specific heat capacity is given as 0 0.385 joules per gram per degree Celsius. So we want to find the Q, we know the M, we know the C, and indirectly we were given the temperature change. But let us find delta T. Delta T is equal to the final temperature of an object minus the initial temperature of the object. So in the case of our question here, delta T will be equal to the final temperature is 37.0 degrees Celsius. The initial temperature is negative 5 Point zero degrees Celsius and if you subtract the initial from the final negative times negative here will give you positive which means this is gonna work out to 42.0 degrees Celsius remember the rules of addition now let us find Q we know that Q is equal to mc delta t. Let us just plug in all the values. Q will be equal to the mass, we know the mass, as 3.10 grams multiplied by the specific heat capacity C that was given to us as 0 0.385 joules Per grams per degree Celsius multiplied by the change in temperature which we just calculated to be 42.0 degrees Celsius grams will cancel out grams degree Celsius will cancel out degree Celsius if you plug all of these numbers into your calculator Q will be calculated as 50.127 and since joules is the only unit remaining that means the unit of our Q would be joules but that is not the correct final answer because we just performed multiplication operations on measurements so we have to round this to three significant figures since each of the measurements given to us is three significant figures and that would give us 50.1 joules